In this video, we will show you how to create a set of school types that allows us to drag it to our filter shelf so we can quickly and accurately use it in all worksheets that we create within this workbook. In this set, we'll only include the following school types, elementary, junior high and middle, a group that we created in an earlier video, secondary high, and senior high. To get started, right click on the school type group dimension, hover over create, and click on set. In this dialog box, let's give our set a more meaningful name. We'll say elementary through secondary set. And let's click the school types that we want to see. Elementary, junior high and middle, secondary school, and senior high. Click OK. Notice the new section called sets at the bottom of our data pane and our new set that we created. To see the power of this set, let's create a quick visualization of the total number of students in each school type. Holding down your control key, click on school type group and total students. Up in the top right hand portion of your screen, click on the show me tab and let's click on the packed bubbles visualization type. We see that our four school types that we created hold the majority of students, while some of these do not hold very many. To quickly filter our visualization on only our four school types, let's drag our new set to the filter shelf. Also, so we don't skew the data, let's also drag over fiscal year to the filter shelf and only select 2015. In this video, we saw how to combine several field values into a set and use that set to quickly and consistently filter out data. Thank you for carving out a few minutes of your day to see this exercise.